Hello, 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 my dear friend Jam and I. It's it's gonna be a raw love reading. We're gonna do straight tarot, no astrology, um, and it's gonna we're gonna see what's going on in your love life. What's going? What's up? Talk to me, babe. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini's. Okay, so this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. And hey, take what you need from the reading. Leave what you don't need. Leave it behind. Leave it behind. Because you might remember in the future and be like, didn't they say that I was going to adopt a wild iguana in that reading that one time? It didn't resonate when I saw it. Yeah, I mean, I am getting an, an iguana. Well, it's a Komodo dragon, but you know. All right, here we go. Go, this is for my Gemini's. Here we go. Yeah. Hmm. See that strength? See that emotional intelligence? See that leisurely baby calf? Yeah. Yeah, because the lion will come out if you even try to come for that baby calf. Normally the lion would eat the cat, but no. This is strength. This is emotional intelligence. I know you're not food because I care about you. Okay, good, good, good for you. Good for you. Good, 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 good for you. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, you have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups speaks to nostalgia, speaks to people from the past that you're quite fond of, people you have a sp soft spot for because of your history because of their history but i feel like when it's in reverse it's like you're giving too much weight to that we got history but you robbed my house twice <sighs> no but that loyalty though we're from the same city huh anyways it's like dwelling on the past a little bit so it's kind of like hey don't do that it's nice to like the nostalgia is nice but you know let's let's move we Let's move on. Oh, car fell. Oh, you're not gonna like this. Then we got the ten of swords. But I already told you, it, 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 we need to move. We need to move on from the past. And so, Gemini, what's going on with that? What's going on? Uh oh, um, it's a good thing that you have the major arcana, the strength card, because that just shows. The, the need to flex the emotional intelligence, the need to be pers perseverant, the need to persevere, the need to keep moving forward. Because some of you are like, should I pivot? Should I switch careers? Should I move to Beijing? And I'm like, no, look how far you've come. You got this. Don't worry, there are ebbs and flows all the time. This is a big ebb. So keep it going. You got this. You got this. All right? But you gotta move forward, you gotta pivot, you gotta be agile, you gotta move with the times and not really fixate on the past. You can't, you can't, don't be like me. Don't fixate on the fact that junior chickens used to be $1.29 and now they're like four bucks. We, what are we supposed to do? We're at a stalemate now, I can't buy that. I, yeah, you can afford it, but I can't buy that. Not when I was paying $1.29 in this, like in the last few years, I, like really? I just can't do it. Not worth it. But anyways, as for you, you gotta put it in the comments if you, if you agree, because like that's crazy. These prices are crazy. Um. But as for you, I think that you guys with that ten of swords, I'm on high alert. So I want to see what is going on. What's the deal? What's the, what's the reading? It's only mid October. What's why is Gemini having all this ten of swords? Well. King of Pentacles. Okay. 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 Nine of Swords. All right. Four of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Wands in reverse. Look at you. Gemini, things always have to be complicated, don't they? Um, look at your theme. Maybe shell shocked. Maybe shell shocked. Maybe disappointed because of all, of, all that you've endured, that you've had to like focus on. Maybe the small tedious tasks instead of like the bigger picture, and 
looking back, you're like, oh, all that time, maybe there's some hangups about it. Maybe there's just something about the past or everything leading up till now that just kind of throws you off. Um, maybe, you know, it could be the endings from the past, like relationships that have ended, people you've lost, loved ones you've lost, all that you've gone through. Um, memories of the past, maybe that's a huge theme this month. Um, maybe that's something that's just kind of weighing on you because we see a lot of like just kind of stress and real just holding still in not anxiety but just kind of recovering just trying to like be okay just trying to be able to hold still um and we see the king of pentacles so, so some of you maybe that's like a father figure earth sign taurus capricorn virgo that you're thinking about the king of pentacles the king over your shoulder and some of you guys are really disappointed sad anxious mental it haunts you or think you think about something that went down with this king of pentacles um remember taurus virgo capricorn but definitely impactful and definitely this person's giving i'm nonchalant about what i did so it could be that something that is logical or natural so that could be like maybe a passing um maybe a decision they made that they stand firm on uh, it could be somebody who it was out of their control and they accept what happened. Very practical thinking, right? But that's not, doesn't help me when I, doesn't help, doesn't make me feel better when I'm crying on the floor. My knees are in the grass. It's going to be stains. And there's tears. So that's, Nine of Swords is a, is a level of anxiety that kind of seeps into your dreams. But as you recover, it's normal because you've been through it. You've been through some things. And I don't know what quite this King of Pentacles put you through, whether it was them or just because of them, something that happened to them, something that happened with them. But it feels like, it, you know, if this is work-related, it could be, like, the reason you need that Ace of Pentacles energy or you have that Ace of Pentacles energy where you have to make a fresh start. So that, yo, know, okay, okay, if we go there, if we go there, we see endurance, we see perseverance, we see somebody who's been going through it for a long period of time. If this is career, we see the six of cups having this nostalgia, but like, again, sometimes when you've been at a place for a long time, you have feelings because you've been there for so long, you're like jaded or like all, all this hard work that I put in all this history, all these years I gave you. And then we have the 10 of swords. So somebody, some of you may have gotten like laid off, terminated, fired, whatever, or just fed up, right? That 10 of swords is, is a, has an air of like finality to it. And it is a challenge, so it could be that. And then when we put that King of Pentacles there, if we're gonna have a boss of employment, a leader, an authority, one that is a stable one, so it's like you have to see me, type, and you're in charge of something that's so important, something part of that affects my routine. It's usually a boss, right? So, or like a father figure. Um, and it's giving. I'm sitting here not so long. I had to do it. I had to do it. I don't know. You know, I'm not in reverse. I didn't want to. I'm not being malicious. I'm not, you know, but like any in any regard, it results in a little bit of anxiety here and a little bit of having to hold still and wonder about A, what you've been through. B, give yourself some time to recover mentally. Four of swords. Nine of swords, you're anxious and seeping into your dreams. So it's like engulfing. It's all encompassing. Whatever the situation is that this king of pentacles put upon you. So it's stressing you out. That could be job loss. That could be person loss. That could be any disruption to your routine or that's giving you it's stressing you out giving you anxiety four of swords recovering re from warfare by the way something traumatic has happened i'm just trying to recover trying to hold together I'm not trying to like dive into like making stuff happen because i need stuff to happen but I, I, I need a minute to hold still is the kind of vibe which is healthy which is good because then <laughs> because then <laughs> Oh, you thought you were going to take a Gemini? You thought you were going to take a Gemini down. Sorry, my cat's meowing. You okay, Darla? You okay, Darla? Okay. What you meowing about? Okay. Ace of Pentacles, I'm a, it's about to go down. Watch. Watch what I do with the seedling. All I need is a little spark, and I can blow that into a fiery campfire inferno that'll turn to a... Well, not a forest fire. That's too much. But, you know. I can get some momentum. 
Um, the Ace of Pentacles shows a new opportunity showing up. So good. It's good that you relaxed. It's good that you got yourself together because then an opportunity that can grow. We see the roots. Can be really good. Now, Page of Wands is like you got to kind of do your research. Um, almost kind of like you didn't do your research with this one, this opportunity coming up. I think this is a start. It may not uh, be like come to full fruition is the best thing in the world, but I feel like there's an opportunity ahead. And, you know, Page of Wands is kind of giving rebound if this is relationships. It's kind of giving, I'll take whatever job to start if you got laid off or fired. It's giving, I'm just doing stuff. Like maybe I'll try this, try that you know, during my time, but like, you know, then there's a little bit of stress on that because of the time. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm just trying stuff. So the Page of Wands does also indicate that there's like actions. At least there's, there's, again, momentum. We get up, we start, we get up, we start to look for opportunity or be in the positioning to grab opportunity. Um, and then we have the Page of Wands. Again, I don't, not negative, but like this is like a, a sign of research, right? The page is the archetype of somebody who's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and wanting to learn. This is somebody who is looking for work, right? But in reverse, so I go, are you putting in enough effort? Are you going to kind of follow up the way that you need to be persistent? Like the strength card, persevere. Cause you gotta, you gotta flip that up right and throw those uh, wands out there, those resumes out there, those whatever's out there, those hopes, those shots, shooting your shots. You gotta take action. And maybe some of you, you know, you got maybe you have to define what is when this transition happens here. Cause yes, you do need to recover and get yourself to a stable place, and then start looking for opportunity. But then you have to be persistent and consistent and keep looking if you are looking for something. So. And if that means relationships, that means you, you gotta go. You gotta get on out there. You gotta go. Maybe if you are going out there, it's like you gotta hit up more spots, different spots. So that's always fun. That's a good reading, though. You guys, like, you're working through something. Although something goes down, it just kind of shows why, why the strength card was pulled, is that you have what it takes to get through the situation. You know what you need to recover. You know how much time you need. Just trust yourself. And... Remember, there's two sides of you. You can tap into either one at any time. When it's getting a little too buck wild on the inside, you can tap into that other side. Like, oh, the, the other side? The other me? The other twin? Watch what she does with this psychosis. So, you know, that's the good thing about Gemini's. Very mutable. You can adapt. You can shape shift into different situations and assimilate very quickly. So do that and maybe realize, just, just, just look at how much you're doing and really kind of be honest with yourself at all times. And maybe even like, even if you think you're doing a lot, maybe just like find somebody that you want to emulate, see how much they did, compare, you know, and be like, okay, you know, I need to step it up. I do. Let me step it up right quick. Where's my snare? So yeah. So there it is. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And um, if you'd like some natural natural wax soy candles i sell those in my etsy shop so you can check those out there's a link in the description get me some traffic why not give it a like give any product a like for that matter and yeah and thank you for watching the video i will see you in the next one 